Will we ever be done with the 2016 presidential election? You know, we've talked about this question in the past here, but I think once again this week we're being reminded the answer may be we're never going to be rid of the 2016 election, or at least it'll be a long time before we forget the meaning of the 2016 election. The two most recent reminders came in the form of Hillary Clinton speaking out publicly, really for the first time in an extended way, about her feelings about losing that election. And what she said was essentially, I would have won it if not for WikiLeaks dumps of my uh, stolen emails and a disclosure by FBI Director James Comey in the closing days of the campaign that he was launching a new investigation into those emails. And then we had Director Comey speaking in congressional testimony this week about his decision to do that investigation, and he said it was one that troubled him then and now. Look, this was terrible. It makes me mildly nauseous to think that we might have had some impact on the election, but honestly, it wouldn't change the decision. Everybody who disagrees with me has to come back to October 28th with me and stare at this and tell me what you would do. Would you speak or would you conceal? And I could be wrong, but we honestly made a decision between those two choices that even in hindsight, and this has been one of the world's most painful experiences, I would make the same decision. You know, but those aren't the only reasons this election lives on. It lives on in large part because it was one of those rare things, a realigning election, one that changed the way the two parties uh, are and will be in the future. That doesn't happen very often. It wasn't simply a one-off event. It's going to have uh, repercussions and ripple effects for years to come. You see that in the Republican Party, which is trying to come to terms with being led by Donald Trump, who's not a traditional conservative, but more of a populist, and that's playing out right now in the struggles of that Republican Party to figure out what it wants to do about reforming health care and reforming the tax system. And you're seeing a similar thing on the Democratic side, where Democrats are trying to figure out how they managed to lose in 2016 208 counties around the country that Barack Obama had carried for the party twice in 2008 and 2012. And whether the way to get those counties and those people in those counties back is to move to the left and be more liberal or to also be more populist in a democratic kind of way. And you're seeing that play out as Democrats try to figure uh, who is going to be leading them in the period that lies just ahead. So what we're seeing in all those events, I think, is an indication that the 2016 election was a historic event, a game-changing event, and one we're going to be reminded of for years to come.